Alright, what is going on everybody? Wally here with a Battlefield 4 prediction video for the upcoming Xbox One tournament here on June 7th with it, which is uh, pretty close actually, it's only four days away. So I want to give you guys a little prediction video. I didn't really have the opportunity to do this during the last tournament, it was kind of stripped for time, and, and right now pretty much stripped for time. But I do find myself having a little bit of time. We've, we've done a lot of the work for the tournament. We're still looking for volunteer admins and that kind of stuff. But this video will probably go out later today. Um, today being the third, which is Tuesday. Of course, it may go out tomorrow, which is Wednesday. But the tournament is on Saturday. Now, just a disclaimer before I get into this. These are just my predictions of seeing teams play. I haven't seen all of these teams play. And I probably won't get the opportunity to watch all these teams so just take this as basically somebody who's not in the comp scene doesn't understand all the teams doesn't understand the mechanics of the game as just their opinion to approaching a bracket kind of like march madness if i don't watch college basketball i know of the college teams i just don't watch it very uh, very adamantly something like that basically so just keep that in mind don't take offense if if you happen to be playing for one of these teams and I don't mention you, I'd just like to apologize for that from the get-go. So below in the description, there will be a link to the Bracket document and um, the brackets themselves, the game day document, the poster. And if you want to take the time to pull up the brackets right now and follow along, I more than recommend it. If not, I'll probably just have some Battlefield footage linked in here, maybe a picture of myself on this screen with a big smile. Something fun, who knows, right? So I just want to get into it. Uh, first game, first round will be DZS versus the A-Team. I have the A-Team taking that one. Second game there is Divinity Gaming versus SLP. I like the way SLP has played in the past, and I'm pretty sure they're going to do pretty well here. I have SLP taking that one. Going into Infinity Esports versus Redemption. I have Redemption taking that one. Riot versus Doctor Team. I'm not sure who's going to win that one. Honestly, I haven't seen either team play. I know one is a European team, and I know Riot has a pretty good history in BF3. I'm pretty sure I'm going to go with Riot, but I could be wrong. TB looking like to get a buy. Not 100% sure yet how that's going to work. If they do get a buy, obviously they win. Remake to Omega. Remake a good French team versus one of the best American teams, or, well, presumably one of the best American teams. They haven't been playing too much. I'm still going to go with Omega on that one. AV versus TWD Bravo. Had the opportunity to watch TWD play, but this is their Bravo squad, and that's not a slight on them. I still think AV is going to take this from them pretty, pretty handily. Summit versus Axum. Axum is a new team. I know the guy who runs it. Good guy. Summit, I've seen him play here and there. I don't know how well their roster forms. And, and plays together. I know they've got some pretty good chemistry from BF3, but I'm going to go with Summit. Verta versus KFR. I like the way Verta has been playing. They seem really, really pumped up, but they're going against one of the best French teams in Europe. Their first round game. It's going to be a really tough match, and honestly, I'm going to go with KFR. Illmatic versus Abai. Now, again, these buys may not stay the way they are. We might move another team into that slot from the first round. Who knows? But Illmatic, if they take a buy, they're going to win. TWD Alpha versus Exploit. Again, I love watching TWD play, but I don't think they have the gall to take down EXP. EXP is probably number three, number four top American teams right now, and I just like the way they've been playing. I'm going to go with EXP on that one. Going into Pyro versus Notorious. Have not seen Notorious play at all, but I have seen Pyro play. We watched him play throughout a few of the mini events. Of course, we got an opportunity to watch him play against Omega first event, and they went back and forth and traded maps. I'm going to go with Pyro. Sinister versus Burning Heads. That could go either way, honestly. Burning Heads is a French team, or at least a European team, and Sinister is an American team. But one of Sinister's best players will not be playing in today's event, at least on Saturday in that event, so I don't know exactly know how they're going to play it out. I'm going to go with Sinister regardless. One Nation getting a buy. Again, buy is up in the air, not sure, but if they get a buy, they'll move on. Warrior Culture versus K47. K47 is a pretty good team, although they are new, but I still think Warrior Culture under Jay Besky has the opportunity to go ahead and move on. And Exploit Green, the secondary roster for Exploit, going against Art of Execution, and AOX is arguably the best team currently playing. I think AOX is going to take that one. Now hopping into the second round games, we got A-Team versus SLP up on top, and I've got SLP moving on against the A-Team. I like the way the A-team plays, but SLP, again, is just one of those teams that is incredibly, incredibly good, and I think they have the ability to take that. Redemption versus Riot. I love the way Riot plays, but Redemption, again, probably the number one, number two French team. They're going to be able to take them down, move on to play SLP in the third round. T 
TB versus Omega. As much as I love TB, they are not a fives team. They even tell people that they love playing Conquest more so than fives. And Omega is a fives team. Although that game can go either way because Omega really hasn't been playing. They've been going through some roster changes. And TB has had pretty much the same roster for a very long period of time. I'm still going to go with Omega on that one. AV versus Summit. Now, both these teams I enjoy watching. Of course, I have some history with AV. A lot of their players think I don't like them. And while it may be true to some extent, I just don't like the amount that they complain and the way they do it. Doesn't mean I don't like them. Summit, on the other hand, I have an issue with their leader, unfortunately, but I still think they're a great team. They got a great, great bunch of players on that team. I think I'm going to go AV to go on to round three against Omega. Now, here's where it gets really, really difficult. These next two games right here are going to be incredibly close between some of the best American teams and some of the best French teams. And it's unfortunate that it has to come into that way, but there's just nothing we can do about it. The brackets are just too small. There's no seeding system. It's just unfortunate. But we got KFR versus Omatic and EXP versus Pyro. This is going to be probably the best bracket in the entire series, in my opinion. KFR versus Illmatic. Now, I know Illmatic is storied as apparently the second best team. I haven't had the opportunity to see him play too much. I don't know. I think KFR is going to beat him. I got KFR going on. EXP versus Pyro. Again, EXP is a great team, and they've made huge strides here in the past month. But again, Pyro is arguably the best French team currently. They're one of the few teams to give Iconic trouble in the, in the preseason or I guess the, the pre-tournament round of games. They did pretty much beat Omega. Almost beat Omega, tied him out in the beginning of the month. I'm going to go with Pyro moving on. Sinister versus One Nation. I haven't seen One Nation play a five, so I have no idea how they, how they play. Uh, I tried to cast a few of their games, but there's apparently an issue there where they won't play if I don't cast, which is understandable. So I got Sinister moving on against the Conquest team, in my opinion. I think that's how it's going to go down. Warrior Culture versus AOX. Now, Warrior Culture under Jay Vesky and that crew is incredibly good, but AOX is still one of the best teams to play. I got them moving on to play Sinister. Now, going into round three games, this is where it gets interesting. We got SLP playing, playing against Redemption. Now, Redemption, if you guys don't know, is the old infamous roster of BF3. Incredibly, incredibly good French team. They uh, were beaten Iconic back in the day, BF3. When I played on Iconic a little bit, they, they took quite a few games for us. and They were pretty damn good. Um, so you got to give them credit. I got Redemption beating SLP, but anything can happen here. Omega versus AV. Now, just by just looking at how these players have played in the past and how well AV did in the previous run, they did lose to SM in a sudden death round in Defuse. And again, there was kind of a bit of complaining there on how the Defuse sudden death worked, and I completely understand that. But again, I, I think that Omega is going to beat AV just because of the way I know how Bio plays. I know how he fires up his team. But again, I could be completely wrong, but I got Omega moving on. KFR versus Pyro. Now, this if this happens, this is probably the match we're going to cast simply because it's going to be the two best or, or undoubtedly some of the best two teams currently playing going against each other right here. KFR versus Pyro. We had an opportunity to watch them play together in the Europe USA mini event that a lot of people took personally. Of course, it was just for fun. Again, like all the stuff. We just had a good time with that one. But again, these two teams are incredibly good. If this matchup does happen, I want to cast that game for sure just because I love watching the French teams play. They got a great, great bunch of talent on there. They play much, much differently than the American teams. They bring an entire different strategy in their playbook to play against American teams. It should be very, very interesting. And then finally, we got Sinister versus AOX. And again, Sinister without their best player in there or one of their best players in there, one of their main slayers, might struggle. Now, I say might because I'm not sure. But I think they might struggle a little bit here. But I think AOX is going to move on and take that one. Moving into round four games, we're looking at Redemption versus Omega and Pyro versus AOX. Now, these are semifinal games. It should be very interesting to watch if they hand up or end up this way. Now, I could be wrong, and I think I will be because... If anyone does March Madness uh, college brackets, they know that there's been a lot of mistakes on them. But regardless, Redemption versus Omega, Pyro versus AOX. I'm going to go with Redemption beating Omega and AOX beating Pyro to go to the final game of AOX versus Redemption. Now, this game, in my opinion, was the second round game for the Defuse tournament. And in my opinion, of the Defuse tournament, it was the best game of the entire tournament. It was arguably the two best teams going head to head. And unfortunately, they had to play each other in the second round. Now, they were the only team throughout the Defuse tournament to, take a, to even take a map 
from Iconic, and that may not be saying much now, but back then that was a pretty big statement. Now, I'm not trying to deride Iconic because I think they know how much I have sort of hostility there and how much hostility is there, but you can't argue that they're a good team. Same thing with Redemption. I really like the way they play. I really like the way the French teams play. Honestly, I don't know who's going to win that one. If I had to go with anyone, I think Redemption is going to come back around at this time and beat beat AOX, knock them off the high horse a little bit. But again, if history proves me right, I don't think it's going to happen. AOX might win the tournament once again. If that happens, we'll see a third place bracket game between Omega and Pyro. And again, that'll be like a rehearsal match for the first mini event we threw on where we showcased the best teams. We had Omega playing Pyro and they ended up tying three or four games. So that third place match could be very, very interesting to cast and watch. But as always, these predictions are not meant to offend anyone. I may have put a few jabs in there about this or that, but as personally, as a commentator and a shoutcaster, I think I have the right to put my opinion in these little pieces because I'm not presenting them as if I was an admin of the tournament, but simply as a bystander who has the opportunity to cast these events for you guys. Of course, I could be wrong, and once again, I don't want to offend anyone in here. I love and appreciate every single team that stepped up to help us get this event going, especially the guys who went out there and donated in this prize pool to see it happen. You guys are the reason we do this stuff. Without you, we wouldn't be anything. So I just want to clarify that right there. As always, if we get the opportunity to cast your team in this event, please, please support this stream. We'll have the stream up there. It'll be streamed at Twitch tv slash level bf as always i will be one of your casters and i believe dasgro will be casting with me or i will be casting with dasgro however you want to phrase it it really doesn't matter but again the giveaway should be pretty sweet we're working on a few more in there for a little bit of extra bonus but as always you guys are great i hope you guys appreciate this tournament prediction and if you don't think i'm right i'd like to hear your predictions in the description or in the comments below please let me know i'm very curious to see where you guys think people are going to match up that will do it for me ladies and gentlemen i hope you guys have a great weekend and i hope you guys join us on june 7 3 p.m eastern 10 p.m central european time for one of the best seasonal events that we hope to put on for you guys on the Xbox scene. As always, that will do it for me. I hope you guys have a great day. I'm out. Peace.